as I mentioned, today's topic is sequencing. So let us begin. What exactly is sequencing? So sequencing is the order of your design or pretty much what order you place the portions of your design. Sequencing also has to do with your start and stop points, which you can adjust. So for an example, this design right here, where you would check out what your sequencing is, is over here on the right side that says sequence. Now, usually as you are creating your design, your sequence will start to pile up. So depending on which part of your design you start off first, maybe I started off with the complex fill brown part. That would mean that that will be the first thing on my sequence. And then as I keep going, depending on which part I next start off with, it will pretty much pile up over here. So if we take a look at the sequence for this design, we can see that the complex fill is first, the light blue part goes second, the grass goes third, the blush goes fourth, the satin brown part goes fifth, and then the inside of the bow goes last. Now this same information in your sequence is going to appear on your run sheet. So over here in the second page, that same information is going to appear here, as mentioned in that same order. Now, if you wanted to change the order of your sequence, instead of as you are digitizing it, you can grab any part of your design in your sequence and you can pretty much drag it where you want the order to be. Now, let's say, for example, we want the grass to embroider before the first part of the bow. You would highlight the grass and drag it to the top. Okay. So now the order of the sequence has changed. So now it goes from the brown complex fill to the grass area. Now, if you want to visually see the order of your design, keep in mind that you have your slow redraw. Your slow redraw, when you click on it, will pretty much allow you to see where exactly your design is going to begin and where it's going to end. It would also show you how the underlay stitches out and where your start and stop point for that design is. So over here, you could simply just drag this rectangular box or you can click the fast forward. In this case, we'll click the fast forward and it is simulating it for us. It starts embroidering from bottom and then top for the brown part. And then it goes on with the grass the bow and then the middle part with the details and then the blue of the bow 